Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I've got some incredible, huge news. I mean, this is fantastic. This is the biggest news since the original Freedom Week in the state of California. We now have essentially a Freedom Week version two. Judge Roger T. Benitez, a federal district court judge out of the state of California, has just found that California's ammunition restrictions are in fact unconstitutional and has placed a permanent injunction against them. Now, if you guys have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification because things are changing very fast with this topic and I'm gonna keep you guys up to date. Now, I know that there's gonna be a lot of people out there who are gonna say, well, it doesn't really matter. You know, California is just going to uh, look for a stay, an emergency stay, an administrative stay on this one, and we're never really gonna see the benefits of it. But Judge Benitez did something this time that he hasn't done since that original Freedom Week. He did not place a stay on his own order. So you guys know with Miller and Duncan as of late, Judge Benitez found that they were unconstitutional. He placed an injunction against their enforcement, but simultaneously put a stay on his own order to give California time to appeal. This time, he did not. He left that completely open, which means that the California Attorney General has to ask Benitez for a stay in this case. And guess what? They already did that. I mean, we're talking just about same day, almost simultaneously, California asked Benitez for that stay, and Benitez was ready for it and already denied that stay. So California's request for a stay from Benitez has been denied. The uh, ammunition regulations under Prop 63 and SB 1235 uh, have, are now permanently enjoined, and that means that the restrictions are overturned. And let me tell you, with that being overturned and permanently enjoined right now, uh, the governor and the attorney general are super upset about it, and they are uh, releasing official statements that prove it. Now, before we take a look at those, let's just take a quick look at what Judge Benitez had to say while denying California's uh, request for a stay. He says, this court has given the state plenty of opportunity and time to provide analogs or other evidence to demonstrate the validity of its ammunition background check laws. This decision simply requires a return to the status quo, anti-leadum, don't know what that means, as it exists prior to the effective dates of SB 1235 and Proposition 63, having considered the relevant factors and for many of the same reasons articulated in this court's order denying a stay of the preliminary injunction ordered, uh, the request for a stay pending appeal and administrative stay is denied. So here's the statement from the governor on the Benitez Prop 63 ruling. It says, January 31st, 2024, the same fanatic judge who previously compared style weapons to Swiss Army knives continues to undermine the credibility of his decisions. Like clockwork, Judge Benitez has yet again put his personal politics and fealty for the gun lobby over the Constitution and common sense. Now, let me go ahead and read you some of the statement from the attorney general here, where it says, we will continue to fight for our authority to keep Californians safe. We will move promptly to seek an immediate stay of this decision so these laws can remain in effect. Well, what he doesn't understand is that he came out with this prior to his request for a stay being denied. So uh, let me go ahead and tell you your future, buddy. Your, your stay is denied. The Supreme Court was clear that Bruin did not create a regular regulatory straitjacket for states and we believe that the district court got this wrong yeah it didn't create a regulatory straitjacket but it didn't say that you could just outright infringe on people's constitutional rights either so what does this mean for the people of california well number one and most importantly it means that this law no longer exists these rules and regulations under prop 63 and sb 1235 uh, those are out the window. They're permanently enjoined. They're unenforceable by the state of California as of right now. Uh, now, what that means if you go to the shop or you go to a vendor, I'm not really sure. They, they, they might not even have that information as of yet, so people need to inform them of Judge Benitez's decision on both uh, the unconstitutionality of it and the denial of the state. They need to be informed of that so that they can adapt and hopefully adapt quickly. But again, these laws don't exist. 
And so therefore, there's nobody that should be bound to them. And these, like I said in the very beginning, these shops need to adapt and they need to adapt fast. But I wanted to get, make you guys aware of that. Um, is a very important topic. Uh, we've been watching Rodi Vibanta and we've been talking about it on this channel since the day it was filed. And this is just fantastic news. So I wanted to make you guys aware of that. This is all happening very quickly. So like I said before, subscribe and hit that little alarm bell because if there's any more changes, I'll let you guys know about it. But uh, this is a very big deal out of the state of California. It's another type of Freedom Week, and I think it's something to be celebrated. So again, uh, huge news, fantastic news, and I am very excited to report it to you. So thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a great day.